For many years, the Princess Royal Youth Hostel has been off-limit to the probing eyes of the media. Escapes, uprisings, and even a deadly fire in November 2015 that claimed the lives of three female residents have largely been covered from the outside. Perhaps this has been so for good reason. The facility here at Mile 21 is in poor repair from neglect. Since taking over the Ministry of Human Development several weeks ago, Ministers Dolores Balderamos Garcia and Gilroy Usher Sr. have completed a walkthrough and what they've observed is upsetting to say the least. We have been appalled at what we have seen, um, both physically in terms of the crumbling infrastructure, but also we had a meeting with some of the staff and um, we believe that there are massive changes systemic changes you know you talk about in the united states systemic racism well we have systemic problems within the ministry and in this facility with a population of 25 at-risk teenagers male and female conditions at the youth hostel are squalid corroding steel doors exposed shower stalls poorly kept toilet facilities and ramshackle dormitories are all akin to the cell blocks at the belize central prison Except, these are not inmates. The young boys and girls that are housed here are not necessarily serving time for grave offenses committed on the outside. And one of the things that I am very let down with here is that this facility should be a facility where, where the youths are given a second chance to turn their lives around. And the way this is set up, this, is, this, is, this will probably result in the opposite effect. Because number one, you have to teach, teach children to take care of the environment. And so from your internet the compound, you see the site there with the rubbish that need to be thrown away. You see the garbage there that is unburned. Then when you go in the dorms, you see the lot of graffiti in the dorms and with guns and, and, and with gangs and things. That's a very, some of the very things that you're trying to steer them away from. In the past, the administration that oversaw the Princess Royal Youth Hostel had been very tight-lipped to the point where information on residents and the challenges they face within this fortified perimeter was hardest to come by. The purpose of this expose is not only to highlight what has gone horribly wrong in the management of the facility, but to also reveal the systemic neglect and violations of the fundamental rights of these residents under the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. We're not dealing here with just an ordinary little home or things like that. These are children in conflict with the law, they come from very dysfunctional families. Um, but I believe, and let me speak for myself now, that because you have come from a dysfunctional family and you may have committed an offense, you do not lose your human dignity. And I don't see that being respected here at the moment. Problems having been identified, the Ministry of Human Development is now looking at existing legislation to remedy a lot of what has gone wrong here. I will be looking very closely at the law. We have some very old laws like the Certified Institutions Act. We have to bring all of that into confluence with the Families and Children Act, which takes a more protective approach to children. And um, for example, I will be speaking um, with the magistrates so that when there is a placement or a committal here, it's not for an indefinite period or until the person becomes 18. Ahead of revising the laws, however, is a dire need to address the living conditions at the facility. Ministers Balderamos Garcia and Usher have pledged that the dire situation faced by residents will be ameliorated by April 2021. I invite you all to come back here within the next four months and you'll see the, the changes that are, that are being undertaken because we are committed to having this facility being a true child-friendly facility where children come here, where the children see it not as punishment, but as an opportunity to turn their lives around. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.